Compound event. A compound event consists of two or more simple events. For example, tossing a coin two times in a row. Sample space. The set of all possible outcomes in a probability experiment. The sample space of tossing two coins in a row would be heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, and tails, tails, because these are all the possible outcomes when tossing a coin two times in a row. Tree diagram. A tool that provides a visual representation of the sample space. You can see I squared the actual tree diagram. And they call it a tree diagram because the arrows are similar to the branches on a tree. If you look at the bottom of the tree diagram, you will see that same sample space as before. Determine the probability example. You are conducting a probability experiment. The experiment consists of you rolling a number cube two times. Make a tree diagram to find the sample space and then determine the probability of rolling two numbers whose sum is less than or equal to eight. Step one is gonna to be to make a tree diagram. So there are two events, but they are the same. We are rolling a number cube two times. So let's start with the first event. If I was to roll a number cube one time, there would be six possible outcomes. And those outcomes would be one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we can move on to the second event, which is rolling that same number cube. So from each of these numbers, I'm gonna draw six arrows, and at the bottom of these arrows, I'm gonna write all of the outcomes of that second roll. Just like the first roll, there are six possible outcomes, the numbers one through six. This moves us on to step number two, List all the possible outcomes. In order to list all the outcomes, I'm going to follow those arrows. When I do that, I'm left with 36 total outcomes. This moves us on to step number three. Use the sample space to determine the probability. Well, if we go back to the question, it says determine the probability of rolling two numbers whose sum is less than or equal to eight. Ooh, that word sum lets me know that we are going to be adding those numbers. And when we add the numbers, the sum should be less than or equal to eight. So if we look through our sample space, I'm gonna highlight all of the numbers whose sum is less than or equal to eight. All right, there they are. There are 26 outcomes that have sums that are less than or equal to eight. So in order to determine the probability, I'm going to make a fraction. In the numerator of the fraction, I will have the number of outcomes that had a sum that was less than or equal to eight, which was 26, and as my denominator, I will have the total number of possible outcomes, which we said was 36. Since both 26 and 36 are even numbers, I know that I can simplify and I know that I can divide by two. So 26 divided by two is 13 and 36 divided by two is 18. So the probability of rolling two numbers whose sum is less than or equal to eight is 13 out of 18. Now it's time for you to try. You are conducting a probability experiment. The experiment involves two separate events. The first event is a coin toss, and the second event is to spin the spinner below. Make a tree diagram to find the sample space, and then determine the probability of tossing a heads and not landing on R on the spinner. I would recommend you pause the video now, draw your tree diagram, and determine the probability. Resume the video when you're ready to see if your solution is correct. Okay, let's take a look. The probability of landing on heads and not landing on R is 3 eighths. 
If you had this incorrect, I would recommend you pause the video, review your tree diagram, and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching.